Hi, I hope you're well today. There's been a lot of argument, debate and downright aggression and defensiveness in some of the online spaces I've been on recently around AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. I was reading an article just this morning and this article had been written by a guy who had been to AA, he'd been to a few meetings, he'd decided that some of it was of value to him, he liked the fact that he was getting a deep connection with people, he liked the fact that people were sharing <coughs> in a really honest and open way about their experiences and he found that all valuable, those connections and that sharing, that level of commitment to a journey into sobriety, he found that all really helpful to him. But there were elements of it that he found less than helpful. And he has managed to stay sober for a couple of years and he's used a variety of tools. The Alcoholics Anonymous tool is just one of the tools that he's used. He's also used meditation, mindfulness and a few other things. And in the article he was talking about how Alcoholics Anonymous hadn't really saved him, he'd saved himself, but Alcoholics Anonymous had been one of the valuable tools that he'd used in his journey into living life sober. And this one article had received a range of responses and some of those responses were really vitriolic, um, really quite passionate and sometimes quite aggressive. Um, and it struck me, and I, I wanted to share this with you, it struck me that the reason that some of these responses were so passionate and so aggressive was that some people who have used Alcoholics Anonymous as a way of getting themselves sober and staying sober is that it's worked for those people and they're so passionate about it, they, they want to kind of spread the word and they want to spread the word so passionately that if it seems as if if, any, if anybody says something that seems to remotely um, denigrate Alcoholics Anonymous, if it's remotely critical of AA, um, that they get really passionate about it and they, they want to share what's worked for them and they want to make sure that nobody else misses out on this fantastic thing that works for them. And it can come across as quite aggressive. Now... I, I've got an interesting take on this because I don't subscribe to the whole alcoholic thing anyway in the first place. For me, I find the, the label or the identity of alcoholic unhelpful. For me personally, that doesn't work. And I know that it doesn't work for other people as well. So I kind of shy away from that whole labelling thing and that whole giving yourself an identity of alcoholic thing. I prefer to describe myself as having an unhealthy relationship with alcohol. I used to have unhealthy behaviours around alcohol. And I know, I, I know that if I'd gone to a doctor and I'd been assessed with the whole alcoholic, um, alcohol abuse, alcohol dependence questionnaire thing, I would have been diagnosed as, as having both an abusive and a dependent relationship with alcohol. The reason that I want to share this with you is because there is so much controversy at the moment, it seems, when I go into all these online spaces about AA, is that I just want to kind of offer a, a more balanced view on the whole thing. I find that the term alcoholic or alcoholism doesn't work for me, and so I choose to refer to myself in different ways. I find that the whole 12-step programme approach is unhelpful and problematic for me in all sorts of ways. And there are all sorts of reasons for that, which I'm not going to go into now. That's for another blog or another video. The point I'm making is that just because that doesn't work for me doesn't mean it can't work for other people. Um, and there are lots of people for whom Alcoholics Anonymous and 12-step programmes really does work. It really does make a difference to their lives and it helps them stay sober. And that way of doing things is equally valid as my way of doing things. The fact that I find a different way helpful for me um, is fine. That's great. And the fact that I'm offering a different way for other people is fine. And that's great. We can all exist in the same space together. There doesn't have to be one right way of doing things and, and, and a wrong way of doing things. The fact is we can all coexist. Alcoholics Anonymous can exist 
in the same space that Go Get Sober can exist. We're offering very different approaches to getting sober, but one approach will work for some people and another approach will work for other people. And that's okay. We can live happily side by side in the same space. And I was just really fascinated this morning when I read this article at these really vitriolic approaches and about the defensiveness and the aggressiveness of, of some people in response to that. And I guess what I wanted to do was to just kind of remind people that it's okay to have different tools at your disposal. If you're someone that finds that AA works for you, that's great. If you find that you dip into AA and some of it works for you and some of it doesn't, that's great. If you find that AA doesn't work for you at all and like me, you find that whole approach problematic, that's great too. There are plenty of other alternatives out there. Um, and I just want to suggest a kind of happy balance that we don't have to, just because one way has worked for us, we don't have to get so passionately entrenched in that one way of working that we deny the validity of other ways of working outside of that. It is true that AA has a relatively low success rate. But again, what's also true is that it's very difficult to measure the success rate of AA because it's anonymous by its very nature. It's anonymous. And there are very few completely objective studies and research into the success rate of AA. So it is a really difficult thing to, to put a figure to. What we can do is go by anecdotal evidence. And the anecdotal evidence is that it works for some people and it doesn't work for other people. And that doesn't have to come with a judgment. We don't have to judge it. I have my own personal response to it, but that doesn't mean it's not going to work for other people. So if you want to refer to yourself as an alcoholic and you want to use a programme like AA, do. If it works for you, that's fantastic. If you'd rather not define yourself by your relationship with alcohol, if you'd rather focus on the behaviour around alcohol or your relationship with alcohol and you'd rather and you'd rather work on that than make it your full identity than who you are as a person, then that's equally valid too. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what works for you in terms of how you define yourself, how you describe your relationship with alcohol. And if you've had any experiences of AA, um, do let me know what those are, whether they're positive or negative. I'd be really interested to hear from you. If you're interested in joining in with the debate some more and hearing more about different routes into living your life happily and healthily sober, you can subscribe to my channel. I'll look forward to catching up with you very soon, but in the meantime, let's go get sober together.